Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to start a Mac computer in safe mode and why you may need this special mode. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Safe mode is one of the important features you have at your disposal. It helps you to start a computer with a minimal set of apps and drivers to identify and fix various system issues. In today's video, we'll explore safe mode, learn how to enable it, when it can be used, and what peculiarities should be kept in mind. Safe mode is a special boot mode in macOS that allows you to start a computer with a minimal set of drivers, kernel extensions, and third-party apps. In this mode, only essential software is used, which allows to identify and eliminate system issues caused by software conflicts, damaged files, or other problems. The main goal of safe mode is to ensure a stable and reliable system boot, while reducing possible software-related issues to a minimum. In this mode, the computer works with a limited set of functions which helps to isolate and eliminate a problem without any additional interferences. Safe mode is often used for troubleshooting various macOS issues such as freezing, app crashing, incorrect system operation, and so on. It can also be useful when installing or removing software or when updating the operating system. Now, let's find out how to enable safe mode on a Mac computer. The sequence of steps to boot a Mac in safe mode slightly differs for Intel-based computers and computers equipped with Apple Silicon M1, M2, M3 CPUs. We will examine both options. To boot an Intel-based Mac in safe mode, take the following steps. If the computer is running, restart it by pressing the power button or choosing the restart option in the menu. As soon as the computer begins to restart, hold down the Shift key. If the computer is turned off, hold down the Shift key before you turn it on. Keep holding down the Shift key until you see the Apple logo on the screen and the boot progress bar. After that, the sign-in screen appears, and you will see the Save Boot line on top. Tap your account password. You can see it's safe mode because the desktop is white. To make sure that your Mac has booted in safe mode, open a system report. To do it, go to Settings, General, About, and open system report below. Here, go to Software, and you can see its boot mode is safe. To boot an MCPU Mac in safe mode, do the following. Press and hold the power button until you see the Startup Options menu. Select your boot disk. Press and hold the Shift key, and the word Continue will change to Continue in safe mode. Click Continue in safe mode. Release the Shift key. Now you can see your Mac has booted in safe mode. Safe mode can come in handy in such cases. Fixing boot issues If your Mac computer faces certain boot problems such as freezing while displaying an Apple logo or a stuck boot screen, safe mode can help you identify and eliminate the cause of the problem. It can help you fix a software conflict. In safe mode, only main components of the operating system are booted, which allows to remove the effects of third-party software or drivers on the work of your computer. It can be useful when eliminating conflicts or errors caused by installed applications or drivers. Access to diagnostics and recovery tools In safe mode, you can use various diagnostics and recovery tools available in macOS, such as Disk Utility or Console, to check and restore the file system integrity or fix other issues. Safe mode also forces a check on all directories in the boot volume, which allows you to identify any hard disk issues that may interfere with the boot process.
Overall, Safe Mode gives you an opportunity to boot your Mac in a minimal configuration, which helps you to isolate and eliminate various problems that you might face when using your device. Since Safe Mode boots only a limited set of drivers and kernel extensions, it enables you to minimize possible software conflicts and issues. If your computer is able to work properly in Safe Mode, then its problems may be caused by third-party software. In this case, it's recommended to disable automatic startup for such apps. To do it, open Settings, General, Login Items. Here, you can choose a third-party app to remove from the automatic startup list. If you need to run a hardware check or diagnostics, Disk Utility and Console are available in safe mode. Use them to check your hard disk, restore file system integrity or fix other issues. Generally speaking, Safe Mode offers you a limited but stable set of functions to help isolate and eliminate various problems with your Mac. To exit Safe Mode, just restart the computer. Open the Apple menu in the top left corner of the screen, choose Restart and wait until your computer restarts. Otherwise, shut it down with the power button and then turn it on again. If you have no keyboard for safe mode, but remote access is configured for your Mac, you can start it remotely by SSH. For this method to work, your computer should have the remote login option activated. To check or enable it, open Settings, General, Sharing. Drag the slider next to Remote Login to turn it on. After that, click on the icon with the I letter and set access permissions for all users or for specific users whom you can add by clicking on the plus button. Then open Terminal if you do it from an other Mac or use an SSH client. I'll show you the steps for an SSH client. Type the IP address for your Mac computer and then the login and password to sign in. Then type the following command. If you see an error like this, it means you won't be able to boot this way. To fix this problem, you may have to disable the system integrity protection for some time. To do it, you need to boot the computer in recovery mode. Use the key shortcut Command plus R when starting the computer. After that, open Terminal from the Utilities menu and run this command. The next step is to restart your Mac and try running this command again. As you can see, when this error appears, you'll still need to use the keyboard. After the restart, the computer will boot in safe mode. When you are finished with safe mode, use this command to go back to normal boot. To enable the system protection again, boot the computer in recovery mode and run this command in the terminal. This way, after some initial configuration, you'll be able to boot Mac in safe mode without a keyboard while using remote access. You can even do it from your phone with the help of a corresponding SSH client. Summing up, I'd like to stress that Safe Mode in macOS is a useful feature to help you fix various issues your computer might have. It provides a minimal system boot that allows to identify and eliminate software or driver problems. However, always remember that Safe Mode includes only basic functions and some apps or drivers may be temporarily disabled. If you encounter problems with your Mac, Try booting it in safe mode and taking necessary actions to eliminate the issues. If they persist, contact a repair specialist or Apple support. Don't forget that safe mode is a tool designed to eliminate problems and it should be used cautiously and carefully. After the issues are fixed, remember to exit safe mode and continue work in normal boot mode. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments under the video to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!